I am Otis Knighton, uh, U.S. Army retired, and my hobby is old cars. I love old cars. You are now tuned in to Sure Handed TV. It's the Milk Show, baby. Oh, Lord. Nineteen twenty nine Dodge, first year Chrysler built the Dodge. Got a three uh, three fifty five Chevy engine in it, automatic transmission, Mustang rear, Mustang front. Uh, the interior was done in Indiana. Paint was done in Indiana. I bought it. I bought it painted, and I've done the rest of it. Um, I still have a long way to go. AC comes next week. Um, I brought it out here for the hospice show, and we do a lot of charities, a lot of charity shows. I'm with Southeast Customs Classics, and we, you know, um, we run around as a club and have fun. This is a uh, 1948 CJ2A. Um, I bought this um, back in 1982 up in Michigan. That's where I'm from, and uh, after. Uh, Three or four years, I uh, put it in the uh, in the old barn, as they say, and uh, moved away. And um, when I moved to Florida in '90, I always dreamed about bringing it down and uh, redoing it. And in 2008, I went up, blew all the dust off of it, and um, did a ground-up restoration on it. Did all the work myself, except for the paint, and um, that was. Uh, 10 years ago so here we are and we just got a trophy so we're happy uh, this is a 58 Chevy Impala the first year they made the Impala it was a one-year body style and uh, basically uh, it's 60 year old car it's got a 348 it's a truck engine which is uh, what the three deuces are open the hood for you with the three deuces under the hood, three two-barrel carburetors, and it's, uh, I think in its day, it was like a, like a 300 horse. And basically, it's, it's a stock car, except for the uh, brakes. We put in disc brakes so we could stop it. A anyway, uh, not much more to say about it. There weren't many of them left because they all rotted away, and no one liked 58. It was a one-year car. so. Basically, um, I'm glad I could show it to you guys. It's going to go back to New York, so it's not going to be here no more. 
Okay, my car is a 1986 Excalibur Phaeton. It was the only thing my stepfather wanted for his 70th birthday. Um, I went online and I found it. It belonged to Ringo Starr's piano player. Uh, we flew out and looked at it. And he goes, yeah, that's what I want. And we shipped it from Vegas to West Palm Beach. Took him two weeks to get up the nerve to drive the car. He drove it from West Palm to North Palm, where my husband and I live. And on the way home, he rear-ended a car. And he put a little bitty nick right in the middle of the front bumper. The next week, he shipped it to Vermont and put it in the basement of the house in Vermont for 10 years, never drove it again. He had Parkinson's, and when he got so sick that he couldn't drive anymore, he shipped the car down to me. So, it's a, this is a, the family car. It's been in the family about 19 years. I've had it nine. When I got it, everything was dry rot. There was mice in it. And it took my husband and I seven of those nine years to get it in the condition that it's in now. But a lot of friends have passed since then. A lot of them have been in hospice, and that's why I'm here. My name is Otis Knighton. Okay, uh, this is a 1951 Ford Club Coupe. I've owned the car uh, about three years now. Uh, it was fully restored when I got it. It's a frame off restoration. Everything works. All the lights, spotlights, radio, heater. Uh, it's won several trophies since I've had it. Uh, the, the trophies back here to, to tell you. I won first place, second place, and third place trophies at various car shows, okay? Uh, I've been in this for many years now. Uh, I've had one car over in Germany, which was a 1936 Ford, while I was in the military. And then from there, back here, uh, I go to different car shows. Uh, it's a fun hobby. It's a fun sport.